I've been thinking. We should give Josephine and the rest of the group a job. We could get them to work with us. Eh? I mean, we could. Probably not Pierre, though. He'll take that money and just spend it on an oversized drink. Just wait for it. One day, somebody's gonna mug him. The storm seems to be getting pretty intense. Being a lookout in this weather isn't easy. Yeah, it could get pretty dangerous sometimes. Remember that time you almost slipped off the deck? I know. You remind me every day. I almost died, and you thought it was funny. In fact, you think everything is funny. Maybe. Okay, whatever. Let's quit sitting around and go help. Adam, what are we gonna do? I don't know, okay? We can't get down! Adam, do you see anything? I can't see anything! We're entering another cloud. Again? No! <laughs> 
I bet Joshi and Shane will be mad jealous about this. How much? 30 cents. For a bet? No, I'm talking about the drink. Oh. Spend your life savings on that drink? No. He did. I don't get it, Pierre. You know, we could have gotten something valuable with that money. We could have gotten new clothes. Clyde's right. I've been wearing this for months. Alright. I'm sorry, but it looks so good. By the way, when's Josephine coming? Is she looking at the new ship? Yes, it's leaving in a couple of days. Have any of you heard from Charles and Adam? They're supposed to be back. I suppose they got caught in the storm. But I am sure they are both fine. That would be 25 cents, please. What? 25 cents for a beer? Give me it. Give me it already! Do you think that I'm not serious? Wait, 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 wait. Don't give it! You don't know how to use a gun, do you? Just shoot it already. Whoa! What? We need to go now. Clyde. Running low on food. Josephine and Shane are gonna be coming back with food. So, how much bread we got? About five. Uh. Let's hope that they have plenty of food when they come back, huh? Oh, and uh, how are we on the drinks? Yeah. About that. We only got a couple of drinks thanks to Pierre. I shouldn't have blown it all on one drink. Of course some random psychopath had to almost kill me. 
If we keep this up, we're gonna have to end up stealing stuff. Like how you stole that outfit, Clyde. Don't mention that again. Think we have no food? If we can live here with a month's worth of apples, then yeah. You think they'll like apples? No? I don't. But do you think they'll like it that we're stealing again? But remember the last time I did this? I got arrested. But we won't make the same mistake again. We could hide it in the shed. All right. Let's go back now. What took you so long? We need to talk inside. So while me and Shane were collecting food, we came across something. We saw the Lusitania parked at Dock 54. You all have heard of it, right? Oh yeah, the boat in the papers. The boat's made of paper? It's heading to the UK. And I saved up some money for tickets. How much tickets? Five of them. Well, I would do anything to get away from this piece of junk. And that insane murdering alcoholic guy in the bar. What? He's dead. We're good. What I'm trying to say is, I'm in. I'll go, I guess. Clyde? All right, well, you have some time to change your mind. We leave at sunrise. Yeah. Let's trade sports. I don't like wine anyway. Why? I just decided I need to do more with myself. Ever since the bar, I don't know why I hid under the table. I should have helped out. It's fine. Quit worrying and go to sleep. When it's your turn to do an old-timey narration, there are a few things that all boys and girls should consider. Do you know how to properly use a mid-Atlantic accent? Shane, can you, you turn off the radio? Carter's little liver pills? Do you know how to properly use the phrases gosh, golly, gee whiz, or and how? 
Have you ever watched Little Blair. Orphan Annie? We're leaving. Get ready. Taken a for something. Drank Pepsi Cola. Smoked a Winston cigarette. Or tried rich chocolatey Ovaltine? Because it'll... Where's Pierre? Are we leaving? Mr. Pop. Here we go. Everything changes from here. Where's Pierre? Is he not a fan of traveling? Anyways, 
Clyde, what made you want to go with us? Oh yeah, I changed my mind, I guess. Maybe it won't be so bad. Josephine, can you answer my question? What happened to Apia? Oh look, we're here. We are all ready for departure, sir. Are we golden? Indeed. Let us have an exceptional voyage. I called the top bunk before we even got here. The bottom bunk can be pretty nice too. Just try it. Okay, fine. So I guess Shane and Blair are asleep? I guess it was a lot for Blair. 
Could I tell you a secret? Well, I guess, yeah. How hard could it be? Jane is... I don't know how to say this, but... Unstable. Just don't tell him what happened to Pierre, okay? I won't tell. Look at this filth! Why don't you head back over to the swamp you belong in? Go on, before you stink up this entire ship. Please leave us alone, mister! Ugh! How abysmal this behavior is. Why can I interfere? All I had to do is tell him to stop. Got pretty intense fog today. Definitely, more than usual. Are you sure about the frequent use of the horn? We are carrying weapons. This could attract many un unwanted ears. No need to worry about it. We need to focus on getting the ammunition to the British. Shall we keep a lookout for the Germans? Indeed. Yes, sir. Yeah, have you tried out the tea? It's actually pretty good. Texture is pretty nice, and it tastes oh man. Fog seems to have cleared by now. anything off here? No. This ship seems a little slower than promise. They did promise us a quick voyage, right? I guess. I'm going to take a smoke. Pretty nice out here, huh? Want one? I, I don't do that. I bought the coal mine business. How's Nathan been doing? He's been running at mine very well, from what I heard, at least. Oh, Nathan? He's long dead. He was on his way to New York on the Titanic. Unfortunately, it sunk, and the cold Atlantic water took him. I'm sorry for your loss. Really, I am. It's fine, George. Blair, 
What? What do you want to do when we get to the UK? I don't know yet, but I will try getting a job. I was thinking of opening up a weapon shop. I really like knives. You didn't kill anyone, right? Not yet. It's just a joke. What's wrong with you? You got me for a second. Don't take me so seriously. On a more serious note, Pierre didn't die on accident. He was murdered. That was no accident. The guy in the bar must have did that while we were sleeping. But why didn't he kill the rest of us? I think we should stop talking about this. Good night. Stupid door wouldn't open. Thank goodness. What do you mean? We thought you were someone else. Who? Me! Come out! I know you're there, Shane. Come out! And yes. I did board the ship just to do this. Better be worth it! He's gone. Are you okay? I thought he died. In the bar, he shot himself. I. It was too fast, I couldn't tell. He must have boarded the ship as a stowaway. He was always there, wasn't he? And all because of a bottle. Our best friend was murdered in cold blood. We need to get out of here. We can't. The only thing we can do is hide. He's coming. Go! Where's the others? Is he anywhere nearby? He's probably still down there with Clyde. The safest option would be to stay here. Clyde will be fine. Uh, I think. I hope he's okay.
What? The newspaper? Oh yeah, the Germans are giving us warnings. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to come on board? Ignore it. He promised us a quick and safe voyage. But didn't you say we were running slower than usual? Yeah, I don't know. Before we go drink our tea? Any plans for the business? George. We had to shut it down. Nathan put his passion and effort into this. We can't do this. Sometimes you just have to let it go. I didn't want to tell you this before. There was a huge accident in the mines, and we had to close it down. I'll go look for Clyde Lodex. You stay here, okay? But what about Rogvin? You won't last a minute down there. I'll be fine. Don't wander off. How's it going, Robert? The fog seems to be coming back. Shall we slow down? If we slow down, we will be vulnerable. I'm not sure. We might not make it on time. We should put the safety of our passengers first. We need to slow down. We're gonna crash if we don't. It might be a better idea. That still makes us the target for the Germans. Slow down when we enter the fog.
We don't have enough time. They got to us. What are we going to do? It's the direct set on the starboard side. 15 degree list. Set up all the boats now. Get everyone in safely. Go. Was close. Was Shane in black? I don't. I don't know. We separated from the chaos. But it's going down fast. Let's get out of here. Everyone remain calm, calmly step forward. Please step into the boat. This way. We can't go can't without them. Josephine is out and I don't know where she is. Step back. Be up there soon enough. Josephine? Hello? Opened, right? 
It's sealed off. Is there another way you can get through? I'll try retracing my steps. Five minutes! No, 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 no. There's got to be another way out. It's too late for me. You need to go! I can't do this. We won't be the same again. I'll be able to meet Pierre. Now go! Goodbye! Get out of the way before I shoot someone. Let me on the boat right now! But there's 30 innocent people on this boat! Go without them. What did you just say? Where is Josephine? There's no time to explain. That's what everybody says. Shane? Stay away from him, Shane! He killed Pierre. That's the funny thing. I didn't do it.
Jane is... I don't know how to say this, but... Unstable. Why do you think that Pierre would simply go outside if he saw me? Having his friend there is a great trap. I know you're there, Shane. I didn't even have to kill him. Shane did the honors. And oh, how naive you were. Shane couldn't miss out on the fun, could he? They really thought they could escape just because of this chaos. But you were our friend. I never was! Do you need any more proof? I need to do more with myself. I should have helped out. What could an eye do? Just shoot it already. 